Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this tutorial video for the Radio Master TX15 we're going to take a look at the six position switches, these ones here. Let me just point them out. I'm going to show you how to set those switches up. Now in my example I'm going to use it to set up flaps so you could have literally um, uh, six position flaps obviously completely up or completely down and then in between whatever amount of degrees you wanted. So let's switch over to the radio and take a look on how we do this. Now let's take a look at the six position switch. If you watch the channel monitors there you'll see that I've connected it to channels 7 and 8 so that would be your flaps. So the flaps are up and you can see the different amounts of flap that I've set there. So we go back to here. So how I've done this is I've set up global variables which I'm just going to give you a quick lesson on that. So we go to model settings and if we go along to the global variables which will be here you can see I've set these global variables up so um, global variable zero because it starts from a zero like a computer it doesn't start from one uh, you can see I've set up a global variable 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70. So we could always go and tweak those and adjust them for each switch position. Makes it a lot easier rather than typing the weight in. Uh, but if I go, oh, beg your pardon, let me go into there. Oh, that one to do, we'll edit that one. Or you can see as you go down the bottom and you put the, um, the weight in that you want. So you can see it's 40. And that one obviously would be 30. So you need to set those up first. You don't have to, but I would suggest you do that. So let's go back to the mixes. Oops, too far. There we go. We're going to go down again to channel 7. Let's go in the first one and edit. And you can see in here, I've picked, picked the source is, is S1. This is, these are what these are called, these buttons. And I said which one I want it to be. So that's when S1 is, is, is lit up, in other words, it's in the on position. And you just do the same for the others. Edit. You can see it's switch two now, which is that one. And it's in, you want that in the position when the switch is. You could, you could transpose that in the, uh, the opposite way if you want to. Oh, and then with, of the first one, there's no global variable because you want it to be in the center. Here's where we put the offset in. So in this case, it's global variable one which is the one that is 30%. hope that's clear. Um, then we go to this one here. Now this will be, let's just do that, edit. You can see again, that is going to be a neutral weight. It will be zero. And so all you do is you select switch S1. But when we go into here, into the first global variable we're going to use, which is global variable one, you see it's a negative global variable one. So you need to make sure that you change that to negative. One must be plus, one must be negative. Normally, depending on the way the servos are installed in your model aeroplane. And that, that is it really. And then of course you could set up um, uh, sounds if you wanted to for those. And you can see I've just shown one there, which I've set to flaps up. So if we go to full flap, that would be full flat. If I go back to up, up, it will tell you what position. But you could do sounds for every single one to say which which great um, uh, degrees your flaps are set at. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. And I'll do my best to try and get back to you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.